Okay, snorkel kit's done. Got all the plastic still off it right now because I wanted to show you guys all what I actually did. So I'm going to start with the clutch inlet side right here. This tube right there is the clutch inlet. It goes down into here where the power steering is. Does a 90, comes down, comes under the plastics right here, and comes down and into the box. Okay, onto the uh, clutch exhaust, which is another small pipe that is right here. It goes down by the power steering again. A little 90 bend, 90 bend down. Come under the plastics, and it comes down there. It's hard piped down along the side of the frame. I put a couple soft tapping screws in there if you can see that just to you know strengthen it up a little bit down to a 45 into this marine exhaust I know everybody's gonna freaking make fun of me about this but it's trial and error and it goes back along here the hard piped again around the frame and then it goes up around the drive shaft continues to go over top of the drive shaft along here into the exhaust outlet of the clutch case. Um, it's kind of neat. I uh, put a, a two inch adapter to an inch and a half and it actually pushes back far enough into the boot right here where it, it, it's small enough for old grabber to get a hose clamp around it. Got a hose clamp right there around it. Which leaves the air intake. Uh, it's a two inch pipe goes down there in back where that factory cover was where you got to the rad it goes it down under the plastics down by the winch here Let's see here where it wraps around and into a straight pipe and it goes up into a couple 90s into the airbox so here's the plate I had to make uh, to cover up the uh, old air intake uh, I siliconed around it, just zipped a couple soft tapping screws in there, and uh, not too shabby, looks pretty good. Should be all sealed up. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful on a way to snorkel your king quad. Um, I put a lot of time and effort into it, uh, a lot of money too, like, you need this piece, and then I need this piece, and then endless runs to Canadian Tire, and everything. I think I roughly spent around probably 300 to 350 dollars and that was including the uh, snorkel warrior uh, snorkel your ATVs for your risers um, yeah like if you like doing stuff like this hey by all means go ahead try it out you know trial and error I've uh, definitely fixed it a couple times because I've had some trial and error and uh, yeah and oh one other thing I want to mention my channel has gained over a hundred subscribers so thank you guys I got the email from YouTube the other day uh, congratulating me on a milestone it's been two years and uh, I really appreciate you guys liking the content and uh, subscribing and giving me positive feedback because that makes me want to make more videos like this because I, I do like fixing my, my four-wheeler when I break it you know I go bust the hell out of it and it's gonna need to be fixed uh, so yeah, so thanks for subscribing guys, and uh, happy trails!